Yay, video's uploaded, finally. Challenge is uploaded and I'm going to show you a shirt that I've ordered. Well, I ordered it a while back. I saw it randomly on Facebook because Facebook is the devil. Whoosh! I have never really finished a Zelda game and I've well, not finished a Dark Souls game, but I think that's pretty sweet. <laughs> I ordered it a couple of weeks ago and it's coming soon. It's pretty sweet. I'm watching some more Half-Life 2. Just waiting for the upload to finish, and maybe I'll do some recording. I don't know. Just kind of being lazy, but that's the that's the course of this vlog because tonight I can do what I want, and tomorrow I'm off from work for a day. So, woohoo! You know when you're getting the itch back to get your YouTube videos out there, when you start spamming everybody on your Steam and Skype list, and you're kind of <laughs> yeah annoying people, even though they don't seem to be annoying. You know that you got that itch, and you want to get things done. Just got to make sure that I don't let that become procrastination, right? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Torchwood likes to get something done tonight, even though I've been up for like, what? 12, 16 hours? Maybe I can get a video or two out of myself out of this jelly brain. We'll see. And we also need to remember to shave these freaking sideburns. Well, I've just been dared to do the Salt and Ice Challenge. Shall I do it now? Or, well, I'm not <laughs> See, I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it. If it's part of this vlog or it's a, a separate video, we'll see. But yeah, this is going to be fun. You're either, you're either going to see it in this vlog or you're going to see the aftermath with a link to the vlog. So to the to the event, salt and ice. Damn, it's going to be fun. You basically put a bit of salt in your arm, put the ice on top, squish it down, boom, and then everything goes to shit. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. These two are the victims. I say victims this morning because I woke up randomly and decided to bait someone going to get Overwatch because it came out today. Trading these two in, I didn't really rate private enough to make me want to play it. If I don't play after a couple of hours, it's probably a good chance I'm not going to want to be interested in it. It was a good decent game, but I don't know, Far Cry, survival and stuff like that didn't really, like in that way, their setting didn't really interest me. So it's going under the division, I've got it on PC too, so I'd rather play Overwatch is one of the games I wanted to play for a while. I managed to call it one of my local game store and they've got one copy left of the PC version. I can trade these in and that'll pay for most of the purchase, so pretty awesome. Just going to get up there and hopefully they have it. It just seems weird being off today considering I don't normally have today, it's off in the week. But another good day for a change and again, customer weather check. So yeah, let's see how we'll get on. Right then, it's probably going to be noisy as hell, but I'll try and talk loud enough so you can hear me. Got it. Overwatch. So I finally got it. Managed to get it sorted out. The guy held it for me. For so, yeah, yeah. So I've got that now, and I've even got a little keychain. God, it's so bloody windy. Why is it windy when I'm like, when I'm doing anything else? It's fine. When I try to do something, it doesn't want to happen. So yeah, I got, I got it. You go, it's weird when you go to shops, they still try and get away the whole bit more expensive in store, fix some water, then buying it online. But they price matched it anyway, so I got it for the price I should have done, which is pretty sweet. And they even had some change to buy myself a nice little keychain as well for Overwatch. And I love it made some air jump cuts. So I've just decided if I ever walk up with a person in front of me, I'm just going to start. I don't really care to be beautiful. It's so freaking windy. On a side note though, I thought it'd be good to use buying the game as an excuse to go around and do some exercise. Considering today I'm not active and I know like the next five days I'm going to be working my ass off. Well, we'll see if I'll be working my ass off, but yeah, whatever. I thought I'd better do some steps and at least burn some extra burn some well. I'm burning it slowly even though I'm quite you know. Tractor. So uh, yeah, I'm doing the best I can to try and at least keep the calorie burning up even if my eating is going up a bit. That's going to be the cool thing though about working in this new department. I have to do one weekend every so often, every four to between every four and seven weeks. And yeah, it means I get a day off in the week for the weekend, and then I get a day off in the week the following week. And then it feels like I've got another two I've got another two days coming up pretty soon afterwards. So I get the illusion of a lot of free time which makes things feel a lot more relaxed. Oh dear ambulance. 
that's never a good sign, never a good sign. Hopefully no one's hurt or too bad. There's no police and it looks pretty calm over here, so it doesn't look like anything's, anything's wrong, but I'm not gonna be one of those guys that goes right over and just sticks my camera out and go, oh, look at this, let's record it for the world, because that's a bit disrespectful. Yeah, I'm actually quite liking seeing how the world happens, what's going on. You know, just a simple thing about people going about their daily lives and whatnot. Because you spend so much time being busy and caught up in their own little worlds that you forget that everyone else's life here is going on around you. And I have this kind of feeling every so often. I did it before, but brother, and he couldn't. I don't think he could kind of grasp where I was coming from. Maybe I wasn't making much sense. But yeah, I think I'm, gonna, I think I'm definitely going to enjoy having this new change. I might even be there for a while. We'll see. Uh, sentiment is so nice, but at the same time, it gives us a bitch. So, yeah. I just feel like going on and walking and walking and walking. I did that Christmas. I went, it was a boxing day the day after, the 26th and 27th of December. Did a walk. Ended up doing like, I was going to go for a small walk. And then it ended up being like a big three mile, six mile round trip. And we walked into Sutton, which is Sutton Carlford, which is, if you carry on down, right that's the traffic lights at the very bottom, you carry on straight across. It's about three miles altogether. And it was pretty sweet, it was actually quite a lot of fun. I took to be on the way back there, so it was kind of a balance. But that was pretty sweet, that was pretty fun to do, and I do just like doing these walks. Even if it's only like a couple of miles, at least I get myself active. But anyway, I'm probably going to get to eat for the folks, be nice to them, why not? Probably not really a good thing to do, but... I would just put it like this, it's my breakfast and lunch because I woke up after breakfast time, so yeah. It's not all mine, I bought some for the folks. So yeah, nice little walk. It's actually got a lot of room, it's about an extra mile and a half. If I had this section I walk, it's my bike ride. If I tweak things a bit, it's about an extra mile and a half. If I was to go down this road and straight down, it's a long ass road, but I have to turn right at one point because it gets a bit... That's a bit unnerving, that coke's kind of resting in the back, but at the same time it's kind of threatening to spill. But yeah, I turn right and go around because if I was to ride down that way, yes it'd be a nice ride down, but then I've got to increase the, increase the journey by a lot more. And it's alright if you're doing if you're extending a route and you're doing it casually, but when you're coming back from work and you've rode six and a half mile, almost six mile at one point, and it's mostly a mixture of up down, up and down. It kind of gets a bit much, so yeah, I think as I get better, I'm probably going to extend it that way and then make it work better, so we'll see. But yeah, uh, nothing much else to report right now, I'm just going to show them before this gets cold. Actually, past that roundabout, that's the route you go down. It's pretty sweet. Maybe I'll even go and do it today. I really need to get my camera, fix my vlog, my, uh, what's it called? Oh no, I need to get a memory card for my action cam so I can actually record this route, it'd be pretty sweet. Pro cutting for the wind too, so I turn left here, or turn right even, can't get my left and right, and then I go round. But anyway, yeah, I can show you that when I, when it gets to actually doing the route. Uh, but yeah, because I bought a Xiaomi, a Xiaomi, or Xiaomi, I forget how you pronounce this, this guy's recommended to me when I got it. It's a really good action cam, but the problem with it is the memory card that I got for it. It's not even a problem with the machine, it's the memory card itself. It's crap, it corrupts the file. The first clip fixes right, records right, but then the, sec the second clip kind of goes a bit shitty because I think when, the, when it cuts, the, the camera cuts after 10 minutes or so, and the memory, memory card can't handle that cut, so it ends up being a bit balked. So I gotta get into the card and go from there, but yeah, this is the school. That's the school I used to go to when I was like five. And I used to have to walk all the way down here. It's a pretty nice little road, especially on days like this. Look at that sun. Where is the sun? Can you see it? Can you see it? Come on. Sunlight. 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 Yep, is that it? Sun. Where the hell are you? There you go. Hopefully you saw that. Yeah. I'm getting too carried away of vlogging again. I think that's always the thing though. It's like we were talking ages ago at work about it's like the winter depression or whatever. Like you can feel really closed up in the, in the winter months because nights are drawing in the water. Then in the summer, everything's great. 
that's one thing I want to work on and I've got to fix my fix myself because these glasses are so shit you know it's cool how we can be so energetic and like, that's one thing I'm learning about and dealing with is how to be more upbeat in the winter months because working in retail is a bit of a a bit of an arse ache when it wants to be because there's so much going on and I better hurry up there's a learner driver coming inside of me yay I'm not going to get me over by a learner driver that would just be stupid because they only go like two miles an hour I shouldn't complain, I shouldn't mock because I used to learn too. And yeah, now I'm going into the random waffle bit because I have no idea what to say and my head's kind of spinning because there's someone to the left of me and you always have that feeling in the back of your mind. She probably isn't. Nah, she's looking. It's like you tell yourself anyway, why do you care about it if someone's looking? But at the same time, you still pay attention to it. Yay! Anxiety for the win. You just gotta cover your mind with trouble. It's like. I don't know if you watch your vlog too much, Aaron. Um, I might link this to you because I think this is quite good for you. That was one thing I learned back in the winter. It's emotions. That's one thing that helped me. A bit, is learning about how emotions can just be there, and you just got to know when they are going to be there. And seeing like, yeah, this situation's a bit shit. I'm probably going to feel like this, so I shouldn't. I'm just going to go. Yep, yeah, that's there. Put it to the side and carry on because otherwise if you don't things mess up now I don't know how long this vlog's going to be but yeah it's like with the emotions it's like the once I had this one kid really pissed me off and normally it doesn't really get to me I just kind of knock it out and be about it but this time this kid really riled me up he got my back up pretty quick and then that was it I reacted and then I looked back and I thought bloody hell I wish I'd have realised and took the time to think yeah this kid's probably going to do this and try to protect himself get him out of the shitter and it doesn't really matter you know and just keep yourself focused and that's, been, that's the one thing that I've done really well with is like learning how to go yeah this isn't really gonna give me a great feeling um, you know it's like with the X stuff and they you know when we broke up it was only a friendship thing it wasn't exactly anything serious we both knew on ground but when it did end like I said to myself you know what I'm probably gonna feel a bit disheartened by this you know, it's not nice to go and do these things that I've potentially got to do, close these doors and whatnot. It was closed outside my control, I couldn't do anything about it, but I felt there was still some control I had over it to finish it off. And it's like you're telling yourself, well, I'm going to feel bad about this, I'm going to feel heartbroken or whatever it is. And I said, no, this has got to be done. It's kind of like you don't feel it, it's like an instinct and you just do it. Anyway, I think I've blabbered on enough. I'm going to get off and uh, get home because this food. It's gonna get cold, my drink's gonna get warm because of the heat transferring, and my arm's getting tired as fuck. And I shouldn't be swearing, but who cares? At this point, I'm just so relaxed that I'm just being open. I don't normally swear quite a lot, especially at work, but today I just feel like, yep, energy and powerful talking is the way to go, even though they're kind of shortcut ways of doing it. That's one thing I do as well that I probably should be evaluate how much I quantify how relaxed I am and what I have to do to be relaxed about the whole talking with myself about oh if I go out then I don't feel like I have much time to do anything but again that comes down to I'm just someone who's always busy and running around doing something thinking about what's going on and planning and predicting and working and developing and whatnot that you forget to take the time to slow down a little bit and enjoy and maybe I need to do just that a little bit to help myself speed up even more it's kind of weird isn't it to speed up you have to slow it down and that was one thing that I was taught before. Sometimes you can try and do too many things at once. And I kind of taught myself and I kind of picked it up from other people who are saying I kind of think about what they do and then think, do I do that? Yeah, I do. So yeah, I definitely think sometimes I need to slow things down just a little bit to make things better and then you'll get more done. And being organized and damn, I could have gone to get a book to do notes in the work. Damn it. Let's go see if my local shop have anything there. No, no jotter pads, just like a little pad so I can write notes because the one thing I've done, I've done over the past few years and I've kind of amplified how much I do it now is writing notes so I can write them into my diary so I keep telling you about it but I keep using like little stationery really means having to run away and find something and when you have to run away with a thought and try and find something to write it down sometimes you forget the core message and it kind of gets changed a little bit and yeah, so you don't always get the full message never mind though, never mind I'm sure I can get something sorted out Holy shit, holy hell, uh, yay, 
I love cables pulling things over. Fuck. 1.6 billion tax fraud. I wonder if that's true. Would you be surprised if Google have done that? I don't know. I wonder. Mm. So anyway, moving on from Google's bloody lack of tax pay, which I haven't got a clue on. Got my Overwatch Origins. It's not even... I'm not even going to troll bait this video of unboxing. But because the world needs heroes. Pretty cool opening box. Let me think. Uh, switch heroes. Yada yada yada. I can't be asked to read this. I'm just going to go in and play. This is actually a pretty nice looking box. And if I open up box bottled open a minute. There you go. So, are you with us? That's pretty cool box art really. Trying to get a good angle on it. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Ignore the messy desk. There's tons of paper. I've literally got all that paperwork to sort out there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. Now, where does this open? That all opens shut. Opens shut makes no sense. Where do you open the box? Am I missing something here? Am I bloody missing something? Look at that mouse for a second. Yep, opens at the top, there, and then you get your very pointless box. Come on, bloody hell that's sealed tight. And you think, I've got this box, and all it is, is a code. The world we're fighting for, this is the content, all that stuff, whatever. I don't care. It's all good stuff. It's not going to change the game. Let's open it up with my box cutter, which is a pen. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, keychain. You can't see that. Keychain. Because why not? I had a bit of change left over. And I thought for a couple of quid, why not? Pull that off. What you do then, as an unboxer, you get your rubbish and you throw it on the fucking door. Why am I spending so much space? Really buggy me now. Really bugging me. I've got to stop doing it. It's terrible. Then, I mean, even the disc's alright. Even though I don't need the disc. Who uses disc drives? Uh, code. Uh, free card pack for Hearthstone. Thank you very much. I'll have that. Free hero on Heroes of the Storm. Advertising bump. Guest pass for World of Warcraft. Did I show the code? Yeah, I'm going to have to go and use those now because you guys will nick them. But if you guys want that one, play World of Warcraft 3, guest pass, uh, take it. And of course, there's the code for my Overwatch. It is being used. Don't panic. You are not going to be able to use it, so don't even bother. <laughs> God, I am not giving away this. It's mine. Mine, I tell you. Moin. And just to prove that I'm using the codes. Mine. Claim another key. Here is of the storm. And this is my code for a skin for a game that I probably won't play. I might actually try it because I, as I said to the guy at the shop today, I kind of enjoy playing the games I could just pick up and put down. So maybe. Can I just, nine, six, three. F6 dash. I might just play games like this where I can just pull them down. Oh god, that sound is so perverted. Pull them down, son. You know you want to. Uh, Jaina, Europe, because why not? And then the PS. Oh yeah, I can claim my Widowmaker skin. But first, I've got to claim the game. Pro camera holding for the win. Claim another key. I don't know why I'm doing this, showing off. Yeah. Ah. Da da da. Dooby dooby doo doo doo. Because I like the mysterious things. Zed, I'm not even going to put the dashes in. If the game can't, if the client can't understand it, this is so for X C G M F C C G four nine. Yeah. And now I'm done. So yeah, like I say. There's the code again for World of Warcraft Guest Pass. If you really want to play it. I don't know what that gives you. What does it give you? 
Oh, come on. It's not even worth it. The guest game allows you to play World of Warcraft for free up until level 20. Well, what's the point in that? You might as well just go and click and get the starter things, though. If you want to use it, use it. It's not going to give you anything extra. But it's a freebie for me. Don't say I don't give stuff away. <laughs> you didn't say you wanted good stuff from me. So, yeah. Deal with it. So I'm going to go and install. Let's have a quick look. Let's see. So is it on my launcher? I am on battle.net. My battle ID is delay. Fucking hell, clumsy hands. Dulane 2949. So let's go on to Overwatch. Play on Europe. Did I install it already? Oh, because I had the beta. I've got the, I had the beta installed, that's right. So the game updates itself anyway. Oh yeah. So I could start doing videos. Yay! So sweet. Is it gonna work? God, I really need to clean the smudges on my screen. Ugh, they're gonna bug me now. Connecting. Searching for a game server. Playback devices. Yay! Celebration! Let's see how I do. You're gonna have to watch them on the main channel though for that. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna cut this vlog now at this point because I don't know how long the video is. That was a three minute segment. I have got roughly how much in video length? Let's have a look. I don't want to. Sorry to cut that. That was a bit of a mistake. I've got about 15 minutes of footage, so this is gonna be about a 20 minute vlog anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope you found that walk nice. Uh, yeah, time to play some Overwatch. So thanks for watching this vlog and. We'll be back tomorrow with more. But yeah, I think, you know, I'm keeping focused on, well, I'm keeping focused on not getting myself too caught up on shit, so that makes no sense, I think, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This week will be good. Let's see how it goes. I'm definitely gonna try this with me, period. I just gotta stop being lazy. But also, peace out for now, guys. Peace.